So that's a wrap on the test and I make it first place in one, two, three, four, five out of the league, second place in one and third place in the other. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I'm really excited about this one today. This is a tactic video and one that I've put some serious testing into because I enjoyed it that much. In fact, it's probably my favourite tactic I've ever created to use and play through with. Housekeeping, if you like what you see or you're new to the channel, please do consider dropping us a sub. We're crawling towards 6,000 now. We have big goals to get to 10,000 by the end of this year, so I've got some work to do. So crew, on screen there is Sporting in Portugal. This is the one I did a full playthrough of the season. Watching it in, in March, tweaking as we go until I came up with the tactic that I'm happiest with. And you can see we stormed the season there. 34 games, 127, a whopping 97 goals. Winning the league with 86 points by 17 points. Absolutely blitzed it. Not only that, they won the cup as well. Got knocked out in the Champions League by Man City, which we'll get onto. But they came through a really tricky group, which included doing the double over Barcelona. There you can see one of the games against Barcelona and the little sneak preview of the formation layout. 3-1 and absolutely battered them with 25 shots, 9 on target, XG of 2.25, dominated possession as well, battered them. Now, with all my tactics, they are not going to be the, you're going to plug this in, you're going to win everything. It doesn't work like that. This is to give you an idea of what this game is capable of and what you can push the limits to. What also I'm going to go through is, when I give you the formation and the player roles, there's two main roles that I want you to think about tweaking depending on your team, which I did for a few of these tests we did in throughout the leagues. So that's why it's kind of important you go through the video. I'm going to get onto the tactic next, so if you want to just get it, blast through it and go for it. But if you sit through the video, you'll see the tweaks I make for the teams and why I made those changes. So this is Sporting Lisbon, and I've documented this journey on my Discord to so all the boys were there with me that saw me playing through this save. And you can see, at one point we were averaging three and a half goals a game, plundering goals in from all angles. And when you see the tactic, it's not hard to work out why. You're going to be a little bit open at the back as well, but my God. What a laugh it is playing it. So this is the league season. You can see we didn't lose. I thought we might have gone for an invincible season here. We finally lost here, 23rd of January, against Maritimo. I mean, the next two games was 6-0, 5-0 back in the groove. We didn't lose again right until here against Porto, away from home at the end of the season. But then followed that up with 6-2, 4-2, 4-0, 3-0, 2-0. -0, and the 4-1 Tacadie Portugal Cup Final. Belting, belting season. Tactic on the way now, just bear in mind, I'm going to talk about the Champions League as well, which is a bit different to the league campaign, and this is why we need to build a version 2 of the tactic as well. Bush, there it is. This is Jack Hammer, as voted for by the YouTube subscribers when I asked them today what we should name this tactic. And you can see, zero central midfielders. Now, it's an interesting shape, and what grabs your attention straight away is obviously the four-man striker for So... Look at the roles as well. So we've got a deep line forward, a track with false nine, and attacking midfielder. They are roaming all over the place. And when you watch it in match, the movement is astonishing. I've absolutely loved watching it. Now, there are a few vital roles in this formation, and you can probably guess that wing back one and two are two of those roles. We've got a wing back on attack, and we've got a complete wing back. Now, the complete wing back is one of two roles that I need you to consider for your team. The other one is a Trek Batista, basically meaning you're not always going to have an ideal Trek Batista at your club. Same goes with a complete wing back. And I'll show you some examples of that in the test we did with other teams as well, because sometimes they just did not have those players. So we adapted. But what do you think? It looks ballsy, right? And it is ballsy. It got us 97 goals in the league. Now, we came a bit of a cropper in the Champions League. And I acted too little too late. This is our Champions League run. You can see we conceded too many goals. Slavia Park 1-3. But then we beat Barcelona 3-1. And Salzburg 5-1. Return leg 3-5. Return leg Barca 3-2 at the new Camp. Absolutely buzzing. Slavia Park game at the end was a dead rubber. 
We got really found out in this Man City game here. 0 4 at home, too aggressive, too attacking. They picked us off. Made some tweaks for the second leg. A little bit better, wasn't it? Losing away at Man City 4 3 in season one. It's not too bad at all, is it? So, those aggressive games, such as the Man City away, that is the one we went with. It's called Copy of Jack Hammer. I haven't even named it yet. All we've done is a cute, cute, cute few tweaks. You can see the out of possession, the defensive line has been dropped. A couple of rolls, the wing backs have both been scaled back a little bit. We no longer play out defense because we've gone a little bit more direct from defense and we're playing for set players. So, in essence, it's still the Jack Hammer tactic, but scaled back a little bit and that does the business much better. We used it away to Benfica, for example, and beat them. Like I said, the team played great and this wasn't a test. I played through this full season. You can see my players down the side there absolutely dominating the average rating table. I think there in the first 12 spots we have, how many have we got? Nine, nine out of the 12, which is just bloody ridiculous. So what we'll get on to next is the other teams that we did these tests with and the tweaks that I made. Remember those two positions, wing back and the main striker. They're the two that you have to change now and again. Specifically when I tried this stupidly ballsy tactic down in League One in England, with Plymouth Argyle. Here we are at Plymouth Argyle. Now direct your attention to media prediction 17th. It was expected to be a bit of a relegation struggle, but the position didn't work out that way. Skybet League One, there is Plymouth Argyle. Top of the league champions. 32 wins out of 46 with a goal difference of plus 51. And yep, they did it over 100 points. It works at a lower league level. Now, here's the tweaks I made that I was talking about. So there's a tactic. It's still called This Is Sporting because I haven't even renamed it yet, but it is the Jackhammer tactic with one, just one change. I've still got a complete wing back because the lad here could do the job beautifully well. Remember what I said? It's basically a midfielder as a wing back. There's Conor Grant doing the wing back job. But up front, I've got Jeff Cott here. Now we're down in League One in England. I did not think we we're going to have a Trek Batista in League One in England. So Jeff Cott flipped to a poacher so my main striker of the three was a poacher and he still did the business bagging 19 goals so there's the kind of tweaks you need to make if your trek batista is not available because your players aren't that skillful maybe not enough flair just get a nice striker in the middle who's going to finish off some goals for you another test here we are in argentina and i use boca juniors argentina it was a request from one of the viewers on the channel when are you going to test the tactic in argentina here you go sir Boca Juniors race to the league title. Let's have a look. Stages. So it's a bit weird in uh, Argentina. The rules are a bit odd. There's 26 teams there. And I guess you play each team once and then another mini championship happens. I'm not too sure. But the main bulk of the season, 25 games for Boca, 118, losing only one, two goals a game, won the league. And as an FYI, I didn't need to change a thing there. I've got Trek Batista, I've got a complete wing back, but they are in the top league in Argentina. Right, next up. It's the token boring trip to France with PSG. Now, people use the PSG one, a lot of people do. Basically, it's going to give you an eye on what sort of fluid movements you're going to get. I don't know why I did it, because it bores the crap out of me, but here's PSG. I mean, it's domination, isn't it? 32 wins out of 38 games, 106 goals conceding 18. I don't know how they managed to lose three. They lost three by a goal to Monaco, Saint Etienne and Marseille. And in the Champions League, they got knocked out by FC Bayern, but they won everything else. So it did bits for them, but it's PSG. Subscribers of the channel will know that I love an Italian save and I always, always, always test with Inter Milan. Now Inter Milan have crushed Serie A using the tactic. There we go, 29 wins out of 38. They've scored 83 goals and they've won the league, nearly getting to 100 points. In the rest of the competitions, what did they do? Out in the semis of the Champions League by AC of all teams. Coppa Italia out in the quarters and they won the PS5 Super Cup, but still another quality tactic. Now, as you can imagine, with Inter Milan, I didn't need to change a thing really. I probably, I probably could have experimented with Zeko as a target forward. That's when I get across to you that the front three there, they are interchangeable. The roles you can change them as long as two of them are drop offs. Your main one could be something different as well. But it's Inter Milan. The blitz it. Right, who am I missing here? What did I say at the start? Argentina, Italy, Turkey. Turkey is one of them. Besiktas. Media prediction third. They would finish second. Now I was watching this while it simmed. And they were top of the league for so long. Yeah, you can see how close it is. Galatasaray nipped it by two points. They only lost five games all season, Besiktas. One of them was to Galatasaray right at the end of the season to take the title. So it was close, but they did really well. Now, if we go to the tactics screen, 
you can see I have made a change here, not up front, but down in the wing back position. Because I looked at their wing backs because I wasn't playing through it and I couldn't bring one in. I had a pretty weak left wing back, which has probably cost them. So I dropped into a wing back on support and they weren't as attacking fluid as you can see in the actual goal scored in the Superliga in Turkey. They only bagged 68, and you can think of the other teams who bagged 90 plus. That's where it lacked. Still did really well for them. Champions League campaign was pretty decent, to be fair, in a really tough league. Besiktas second with this tactic. And the final one is over in Germany with Munchen Gladbach. And I was supposed to play through this one, but I've been stuck for time. So we've simmed it anyway. You can see we're in the 16th of April. They're currently sitting third, which is a bit of a result for me. I had to change something at left back. Then we've got the quality of left wing backs. And I'm not there to make signs. So we've got a standard left wing back on support. The three strikers I'm quite happy with. Looks like they're in the semi-final of the German Cup, which is a good result as well. Let's see what they do. All right, season over, and you can see they finished third, which is quite a decent result, I think, for Munchen Gladbach. Against, behind only the two powers of Bayern, who lost one game all season, and Dortmund with Haaland. So, third place is not too bad in that cup final. Runner-up, and that's not too bad, again, to Bayern bloody Munich. But a third place finish for Bundesliga with this little tactic. It's not too bad at all, you can see there, winning back on support. So that's what you're going to do. If you do try and use this acting, get it moving. Don't be afraid to change some of the rules to suit your club. So that's a wrap on the test. And I make it first place in one, two, three, four, five out of the league. Second place in one and third place in the other. Now that's not too bad. And I think it's a decent eclectic mix of leagues and club status that I used there to see if that would work. So it gives you a good idea of what you're letting yourself in for. So what do we think? Are you going to give that one a go? I'd love to hear if you do have a go with that, if you get success from it. I did have a little go in the Premier League for about six or seven matches with Tottenham. And to be frank, it kind of bombed. Maybe that's because it's Tottenham. But it just shows that not every tactic is suitable for every league. Sporting score 100 goals in the league. Munch and Gladbach got barely 50. Just depends. But key roles for that. Get yourself two quality wing backs, and obviously you've got that many strikers, you need some backups as well to rotate, because they're going to get pretty tired, because it's a quite intense tactic as well. So there closes my most thorough tactic test I've ever done. I've tested that on seven different clubs from all over the league at different statuses. I hope that gives you a good insight. As a little snippet, I always get myself one tactic I'm happy with. This year it was the Stinger Zero, the 4 3 one, two, and I've built other tactics from that. If you look at the tactic we've just done there, Jack Hammer, there's areas of it that are similar to that Stinger Zero tactic. I just like to get a really one that I, I can rely on and then build from there. Thanks again for watching. I know that's a bit of a long one, but hopefully you sat through that and you can see the tweaks you might have to make. Hey, have a good one. This year's going to be massive. Thank you.